Now to a sobering statistic, but an important topic, especially this time of year. According to the National Drowning Prevention Alliance, we lose 10 school buses of children to unintentional drownings every year. Drowning is silent and can happen within 30 seconds. Right now, the American Academy of Pediatrics is urging families and caregivers to provide multiple layers of protection to keep our children safe around water. There are lots of ways to prevent tragedy, and they say it starts with swim lessons. It's time to get kids back in the water following many pandemic pool shutdowns, say experts, so they can learn life-saving swimming and water safety skills. Look about sky, we're gonna try and fill for 10 seconds, ready? And that's what's happening here at the French Creek Family YMCA in Avon. It's really important to keep your kids safe. The American Academy of Pediatrics says drowning is the single leading cause of unintentional injury deaths for children ages one to four and one of the top causes of death for teens. Most kids are ready for swim lessons by age four, but the AAP says swim lessons are beneficial for children starting at the age of one, saying classes that include a parent are a comfortable way to introduce water safety. At the YMCA of Greater Cleveland, they begin with baby and me classes and go up from there. It's a good lifelong skill to have. Anna Arnold is a YMCA certified swim coach and lifeguard at the YNA Vaughn, giving lessons to these girls ages five to eight. Three, two, one, good job. She says for younger kids, the biggest goal is to learn to float. So that way that if they jump in the water unexpectedly, left girls not watching, they can hold themselves above the water. All right, point those toes. And as they build endurance and grow, mastering the different strokes. Do you feel really confident in the water now, you guys? Yes. yes. As soon as you can get them into these swim lessons, you won't regret it. Their moms watching on tell me it's amazing how quickly they saw results and the cautious confidence swim lessons have given them all. You'll see group settings in other like public pools. Kids can roughhouse around each other. But the girls know they'll go underwater and they'll swim away or they know to keep their head above water and then get to a corner. Group, small group, individual. So depending on what your child, some children thrive better in a mm -hmm. group setting or individual. So that's nice too that there's options and they are very affordable. All right, so the cost of swim lessons can be a barrier for some families, but it's really important to note, contact your local parks and rec department or the YMCA because so many offer free or low cost programs. The Y said, please give them a call. So swim lessons are just one of the important layers of protection to preventing drowning. The American Academy of Pediatrics says other preventions include designating an adult with no distractions to watch kids when they're in the water, installing fencing around a pool, removing water hazards at home like buckets, bathtubs, and make sure you put a lock on your toilet seats, teaching adults and older kids CPR, wearing life jackets when you're on the open water and on boats, and avoiding alcohol and drugs when with children around the water.